Minister of Gujarat, Bupendra Patel, has in fact reached the State Emergency Operations Center in Gandhi Nagar. He is keeping an eye on all the arrangements and preparations uh, that have been made in anticipation of uh, the cyclonic storm vapor joy making landfall in Gujarat and across the coastal region along the Arabian Sea at 3 p.m. this afternoon. Ashutosh, I'll come back across to you. The Chief Minister is inside the State Emergency Operations Center in Gandhinagar as we speak. What are the arrangements that have been made in anticipation of uh, Biparja making landfall where you are in Manbi? Ashutosh, can you hear me? Yes, yes, follow me. Please repeat your question. I couldn't hear that. Right, right. Ashutosh, uh, I was asking you about uh, the preparations that have been made on ground in Manbi in anticipation of Bipur Joy making landfall. Well, Pallavi, you know, uh, over the years there have been different cyclonic situations and Gujarat has now expertise to deal with it. So the prior steps were taken, uh, you know, almost in last uh, 72 hours, including the evacuation, including setting up, setting up a command center, including setting up a quick response team, the QRTs, those were very essential because when the wind speed literally going to create havoc, bringing, you know, uprooting the trees, street lights, cable connection, all those preventive measures were taken in advance. But when it comes to the situation about particularly saving life, the people were evacuated, taken to the safer places, medicines and other things. The government, the local administration is continuously in communication with the state government, all the authorities. We have the adequate number of NDRF teams deployed all around uh, if in case there is a flood-like situation. However, that will be possible only in the low-lying areas for now. At least as far as Mandavi is concerned, uh, not really much expected as far as flood is concerned. Whereas the NDRF, uh, whereas the Army, Air Force, the Navy teams, uh, since the uh, Defense Minister has also taken a review stock of it, those preparations for the ensuring the adequate amount of relief material to be put on standby. So, you know, precautionary measure when it comes to already since the government, state government's machinery were in talks, preparing, taking every step that was necessary. But until and unless the impact passes through and the assessment of the damage damage is done, that will, you know, uh, uh, help the authorities to chalk out a further strategy. Because remember, being this coastal region of Kutch, uh, this is largely, you know, the marine area where you have a large domain number of the fishermen community and their only source of uh, income is the fishery business. So when that goes literally standstill to restart the life, the restart the business, that will be really, uh, you know, a challenging job. Of course, the government will announce certain compensation center, will also certain funds to the state to redevelop this entire damage done. But until and unless the cyclone hits and the impact which is assessed, which is, you know, anticipated by this severe cyclonic situation when the wind speed is gusting up to 140 kilometer, that will truly bring in havoc to the coastal line. So not just Mandavi, but every uh, villages that fall along this coastal line and where the uh, radius of this uh, eye of the storm will pass through. So one, you know, one can really pray for that it passes peacefully without making really severe damage. But we have seen in several cases of cyclone in many states, whenever there has been such kind of cyclonic situation, it has literally caused devastation in those regions. Follow me. Right.